Page 22, Sweetly Sings the Donkey. Page 21, they're introducing you to the ideas of lines and spaces and not necessarily note names. I was never taught this approach, but this seems to be what this author is doing, so let's talk about it. We already covered the stabs, you know about both stabs, and you know notes can be on a line, they're centered on a line, or they can be in between the lines, which we call a space, and the notes for each one. So there's five lines and there's four spaces in between them. That's fine. You eventually get to the point where you, you're seeing the music, a note in the music, and you instantly know where it is on the keyboard. You don't even have to think about the note name. You just know where it's located. For instance, in Sweetly Donkey Thingy, the first note, you just know that's a middle C. You know that's a, here. You don't have to think about the fact that it's a middle C. You just know when you see a note in that line below the treble clef, it's this note. You're just associating the two together in that way. That's not how I ever taught it. It's not how I was taught. But that's how this author is presenting it to you. So I leave it up to you and your teacher to cover that as you want. I don't have a lot to say on it. I prefer that you know the names of the notes in the music and you know where they are on the keyboard. Now keep in mind as we play piano and we got stuff going on all over the place, we're not thinking note names. We are thinking more in the, like they're saying on page 21, is the note is in, on this line on this staff, it's this note on the keyboard. We're not concerned with the name of the note. The name of the note doesn't get us anywhere here. That's how we're doing it, but as beginners, we learn to associate the note name with the music and the keyboard because it ties it all together. And eventually, you'll make that tie without having to think about the note name is all. But for my lessons on these videos, I'm going to continue talking note names. So, Sweetly Sings, let's take a look here. 4-4 four, four time, we got treble and bass clef, we got all that stuff going. you got a repeat sign at the end, you're going to play it twice. That's for the right hand again. We're still working on right hand. And you're starting out with thumb on middle C. If you look the piece over, I don't see any A's in here, so it means we're not moving around. We're, everything's right here. And we just, we got quarter notes and half notes and whole notes, and the last line, there's a dotted half note. Remember, a dotted half note is the same as three quarter notes. So in 4-4 four, four time, it would get three counts. So at the beginning, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. You play the whole thing through. Make sure you can count it out and you got to learn. If you're hesitating anywhere, get rid of the hesitations. Work on those spots and, and get rid of the hesitation. And you can gradually speed it up on your own. It's whatever. But after you've learned it, then come back and play it with me slowly and let's double check to make sure you have the right notes and rhythms. And that's kind of important. So I'm going to give us four counts. Let's play this together. One, two, ready, go. Thank you. 
three.